Hi everybody, this is Alex Deploy from Expert Forex. Uh, welcome to today's discussion on uh, the grid trading system. This is an introduction and being on a video we are covering quite complicated calculations. Uh, the advantage of having it on video is that it allows you to uh, look back stop the video repeat certain sections until you have a good feel of what's involved in trading the grid system so let's jump straight into it and uh, and look at what the grid system is all about and there are five steps to trading the grid system firstly the uh, grid system requires you as step one to establish a grid size that you're going to be using for your trading and in this example we're going to use 200 pips as a grid size so the the gaps between the grid grid lines is going to be 200 pips so once you've established that we'll go into how you establish that in later videos uh, you then start your grid trading system by buying and selling the same currency at the same time we you therefore we don't know what direction the market's going to be moving so we buy and sell at the same time the third step is the price then moves by your grid size it moves to the, the next level so that's your start level so your next level will, would be or, or level one start level there and level one there there's nothing to do as the price will get there by itself once it has reached there you go into 2.4 which is you enter a buy and a sell at that level again then you cash in your positive transaction so the buy from that from your initial transactions will be positive so you cash those buy that buy in you and you just leave the transaction that's negative over. then continue until all the transactions that you have entered into are positive or breaking even at a grid level once that happens you cash it all in and you start all over again all right we're going to uh, all start making sense once we go through a, a couple of examples but that in essential is the recipe to trade the grid system just uh, to so, some terminology that we use the grid gaps are the differences between the grid lines that you see here so in this example we've uh, used 200 pips as our grid gap and we tend to draw lines on the charts just for visual clarification so the trading grid is in fact all these lines that are drawn um, on the chart just to clarify we only need charts to establish our, our grids and establish the currencies that we're going to be trading uh, with uh, after that uh, trading charts are not needed as we use pending orders and the brokers trading platform to trade the grid system okay so let's just have a qu quick overview of the grid system it can be used for any investment that is random and range bound so uh, it can be used for um, indexes for uh, shares for for Forex for all, in, any investment that is random and range bound uh, it, we trade with no stops as you've noticed we don't put any stops in uh, that is because we are either fully hedged or partially hedged throughout the process there's no reliance on direction don't care which direction the price is moving and we make use of the natural wave movements of the market it is mainly an investment system not really a trading system um, it, it, it uh, because of the size of the grid sometimes the transactions can take uh, weeks to actually uh, happen it requires a paradigm shift if you are a, a, a trader at the moment and used to trading concept we basically using investment concepts when using the grid system does not require charts as mentioned before uh, the charts are only required really to establish your initial trading instrument also the charts are only used to establish the reasonability of the trading gaps it is um, highly mechanical with very low supervision and can be automated in, into uh, for instance an EA quite easily just uh, overview again uh, the strength of the system no stops no directional bias mechanical and very low super supervision the weaknesses of the system uh, it, is that it appears complex and illogical in the beginning if you've never traded it before it's, it, it's, it just seems totally illogical 
it requires a paradigm shift, especially because it breaks all the normal trading rules that we have. For, for instance, one of the rules is uh, let your winners run and, and uh, cash in your losers as quickly as possible. This does the opposite. It actually cashes in the winners quicker than the losers. So uh, it, it, it's got a few concepts that uh, traders don't really like. Uh, it, it can incur drawdowns if traded in a or used in a strongly trending market with inappropriate currencies and inappropriate grid sizes. It requires considerable patience. As I say, sometimes transactions take more than a week to happen. Just a reminder, there are five steps to trading the grid system. The, the first one is establish a grid. Second one is to buy and sell at your start level. Third, third one is actually just the price movement that occurs then. And the fourth one is to enter buy and sell it at the next grid level and cash in the positive and let the negative uh, ride and then then to continue that process until the transactions are positive or breaking even at a grid level once that happens you can cash in and start again right for more information on, on uh, grid trading you can uh, visit these sites uh, there are some articles videos and other interesting information about grid trading or you can contact info at expertforex.com okay so let's have a look at some money making uh, moves using the grid uh, uh, system the first one is the 100% retracement move and that results in a in a profit if using a, a 200 per grid uh, that would result in a 200 per profit and how this works is um, you would start with a buy and sell at the start it would go up to your your next level and there you would enter buy and a sell and you would cash in your positive transaction and you would leave the negative transaction there. It would then move back to your start level. The price will then move back to your start level and you will cash in on the sell going down. Your buy would uh, be negative over there, but your sell that was previously negative will go level your sell that was previously negative will break even because the price has returned to uh, that price level. So that would once that has happened, you will make a 200 per profit, and we'll just quickly go through that very carefully. In the beginning, you buy and sell, and and that's a zero situation. The price then moves to your uh, your first level, and at that level, you enter a new buy and a sell, so they are neutral. You cash in the buy, the first buy, and your sell ha will have then gone 200 pips negative. So you've got one open transaction of a minus 200 you've cashed in one of the transactions and you then have two open transactions that have no result at that time it then moves down to your uh, back to your starting position and at that point uh, your first buy has been cashed in your your first sell then becomes neutral because the price has moved back to the same pri uh, price level and the buy that you had at that level one has now become negative 200 but the sell has been, you've been able to cash in the sell at that point at that point if you add that all together you got a positive a, a cash in there and a cash in there you got you carrying one negative and one break even if you add them together it's a overall position of plus 200 the advantage of video is that you can go through these calculations, go backwards if you have if this doesn't make sense the first time around, and just make sure that it does make sense um, before you move on. And here's an, a practical example of how the price movement would happen. You would enter at a at a particular price level. It would go up, hit your price level. Eventually, it comes back to your entry level, uh, and uh, this is an example of a hundred percent retracement now the next uh, money making move is the 50% retracement and what happens with the 50% retracement is it's, uh, you enter buy and sell at the start it, 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 it goes up and in this example again remember we're using 200 pip grids it then goes to the next level where you enter buy and a sell and you cash in the positive and you let the negative right it then goes up again and you do exactly the same you enter buy and a sell you cash the positive and you leave the negative open the transactions there uh, the under this uh, movement the assumption is that it would then move back to the first level not your start level but the first level and what would happen then is that you would cash that leg in you would have a buy transaction here that is negative 
and you would have a cell transaction year that is negative and your cell transaction year would be breaking even so you'd have three cash ins one two three and you'd have two negative transaction and that would result in a in a positive gain of 200 pips so let's go through that very carefully let's go to the start start again you 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 breaking even then uh, you move to the second level which is the same as the previous example there you cash in or uh, your buy your uh, sell is then an open transaction which is negative 200 and you then enter two new transactions which is a buy and a sell which are price then moves to the next level and you basically do the same thing again you enter a buy and a sell and you knew that's neutral you cash in the buy that has gone positive and there is a sell transaction which is an open transaction which is negative 200 remember the sell from your first transaction will be minus 400 which is an open transaction so at that point you 200 pips down. Under this move, uh, the price would move back to your um, set, uh, first level and um, you would then cash in the uh, sell transaction and let's have a look at the, let's have a look at the calculations for that move. Your first buy would have been cashed in, your second buy would have been cashed in and your sell would be cashed in as we've seen previously. We're talking about cashing in that, cashing in that one and cashing in that move. You then have a buy negative here, a sell negative there and a sell neutral there which is reflected here. You have a sell negative your first sell you have a buy negative which is the, the previous the last buy and your middle sell is now breaking even in an open transaction however if you add them all together you are now plus 200 and you would cash in the whole lot and start again according to the grid formula and here again is a, a real life situation showing you the price movement going from one level to the next level to the next level to the next level and uh, you, you would cash in those three legs and you at that point there you would have a negative buy there and a negative sell there but uh, your buy, your cash ins would outweigh the negative transactions and you'd be in profit uh, we've now covered the two profit making moves we're now going to look at the break even move now the break even move is assumes that there is a the price moves three levels away from your start so it goes one two three levels away and then does a retracement after the third level uh, to uh, the second level in fact so what you would have here is you'd have a cash in of one two three four so you have four cash ins four times 200 is 800 pips but you would have a buy that's open year that's negative at 200 you would have a sell year that's open at ne negative 200 and your sell year which is now two levels away from where the price is now would be negative 400 and uh, if you add the open transactions up that works out to 800 if you add up the cash ins that works out to 800 and you have your break even situation okay and there's the calculation if you want to do the calculations that I've just shown you and there they are okay so we've got two profit uh, formations and one break-even formation and those are the tools that we'll use for our grid trading we're going to now show you an example where 3,200 pips were uh, generated within uh, I think 41 trading days which is about two months in our actual subscription trading service which was run a while ago the service is no longer available we stopped it due to the trending nature of the market and also due to some changes that were made in the American market regarding hedging and FIFO rules those have now been overcome subsequently by using two trading accounts uh, so you use one account for buys and one account for sales and the FIFO rule is no problem because we do cash in the um, first transaction at all times so just a reminder your first money making formation is the 100% retracement and the second money making uh, formation is the 50% retracement okay so we can make money using any of these combinations you can
And so there's a lot of combinations which give you profitable opportunities. And here's an example of where we used a 250 pip, uh, 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 gap and uh, there are the grid lines uh, trade, uh, traded on this uh, currency. This was a subscription transaction and this shows the formation. times 250 um, we had a, a, therefore a, a nice gross gain of 3200 pips and here you can see the application of the um, profit making formations we didn't even encounter a break-even formation uh, in this particular instance now risk control this is most probably the most important slide because what is going around in all people's minds is what if the uh, price just trends and trends and trends and never makes any of these retracements uh, and we only we need a hundred percent retracement to make money we need a fifty percent retracement to make money and then we need a thirty three percent retracement to a break even and then after that we start making losses so at Expert Forex, we recommend very strongly that you never trade past the fourth level. And using the previous example, if we were to, if the price had to reach the fourth level, which is a thousand pips from your start, uh, you would inc uh, your your losses would be uh, your start level would be a thousand. Your first level loss would be 700. Your uh, second level loss would be 500. Your third level loss would be um, 250. And your fourth level, because you've just reached there, it will have no loss. But if you add them all together, that's a minus of 2,500 pips. Uh, however, along the way, you will have cashed in. So you will have cashed in one leg, two legs, three legs, four legs, cash in and minus 2,500. Uh, plus a thousand gives you minus 1,500 so at that point what we're saying is at that point just treat that as a loss and start again or refrain from trading and uh, trading until you're sure that the currency is no longer trending so that is the risk control method that we use and if you trade the grid trading uh, system over a long period of time uh, you sure you will be uh, stopped out a number of times but you will also uh, cash in a lot more than you'll get stopped out remember whenever there's a trend there's always a consolidation before the trend then there's a trend and then there's a consolidation very often after the trend so a lot of people make enough money during those two consolidations to make up for the losses that they've made during a trend so the runaway trends on are, are not a problem for the grid system we just take the, the the loss on the nose it's not a big loss it's only six cash-ins that's only six cash-ins and you know you just have to look at our uh, example previously here's an example of a, a a 1000 pip trend look at that that's one two three that's 700 but if you if you go beyond the lines that's uh, another 200 and there's another 50 so there's a thousand pip trend that was encountered there and there was never a danger of uh, of a problem it's because of the cash in at that point which helped us there but uh, you can see the the system can actually take trends of well over a thousand we can track uh, trends um, almost probably up to 1500 or 400 rather and uh, before you'll actually cash in negatively so um, so risk management is very important study this this is our recommendation that you never go past level four uh, whatever you're doing and this looks like a lot but remember if you're trading trading a micro account that is one hundred and fifty dollars and that's twenty five dollars a shot so if you're trading micro lots this is uh, this is not a train smash or a high risk trading method Right, from me, Alex Deploy, uh, thank you very much for your for watching this video. And if you do have any questions, please contact info at expertforex.com and uh, we're happy to answer any questions. Otherwise, go to uh, hedgedforex.com or expertforex.com for more information. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.